Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be an energy check-in love reading for my dearest Capricorns. Capricorn, we're going to take a look at the person most on your mind or your current situation. And if these messages resonate with you, I am going to ask that you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's see what clear messages and guidance come through for my dearest Capricorns. For their highest and greatest good. Clear messages and guidance for my Capricorns, please. For their highest and greatest good. Alright, so we've got the Tower, Aries, Scorpio energy. Your person, the Six of Wands in reverse. Okay, they're viewing you as the Seven of Wands in reverse. What you're not seeing is the Knight of Swords and the Final Outcome Advice, Page of Wands in reverse. And we've got the Four of Pentacles. That's Capricorn energy. So it does tell me, Capricorn, that um, someone here or both of you may be holding back. The Four of Pentacles is like needing to let go of something. Um, the Tower, as your shared energy, tells me that there's definitely been some sort of shock, some sort of upheaval in this connection. Um, yeah, some sort of shocking news. And it looks like your person is experiencing some conflicts, possibly in this relationship, but it feels like in other areas of their life. So I feel like with the Page of Wands energy in reverse as your final outcome or your advice here, it's to look before you leap. Yeah, there, there there, might be a little bit of a timing issue here. So this tower is definitely a shock or a surprise. Yeah, Pisces Cancer energy with the High Priestess in reverse. Secrets being revealed. Okay, and let's see. And the Five of Swords, and it's created some sort of conflict. So this could be some sort of shocking news that you have found out. It could be some shocking news that your person has received. And with the Six of Wands, you might feel like they've turned their back on this connection. Um, and maybe some of you have. Maybe they, there's something that's been revealed to them. It could be a health scare. It could be something going on in their family. Now, obviously, it could be something that you've found out about them or they've found out about you. But let's see. Six of Wands energy in reverse. They're definitely experiencing conflict or difficulty. And, and when I pulled this card, I felt like outside of the connection, like there's something that they're dealing with. Queen of Cups, it could have something to do with a parent or like a sibling or a child. Um, the Queen of Cups tells me this person is very loving, compassionate, creative, um, very intuitive energy. So they've got a lot of love for you. And we've got the Ace of Wands energy in reverse. But hmm, right now it's like they're they're protecting something. I don't know what that is. For some of you, maybe it's their business. Like, I don't know if they've been like, they've received some bad news about their business, like being sued or some sort of investment gone wrong. For others of you, it's like, I feel like there's a lot of love here, but this person needs to take care of someone or something else right now Capricorn I don't feel like there's a lack of passion between the two of you I don't feel now maybe you know there's been some sort of rejection but more than anything I'm getting like it's something having to do with like I don't know either business or family something outside of the connection they're viewing you as the seven of wands in reverse why is this here the ace of swords in reverse and the page of wands Yeah, Ace of Cups, this person wants a new beginning with you, or they're overflowing with love for you. But I want you to be, hmm, I, I just, this Ace of Swords energy in reverse is, hmm, for some of my Capricorns, you are holding back. They might be worried that you're going to reject them because they had to move in a different direction or focus on something outside of the relationship for a bit. This person isn't so sure that they can trust you, Ace of Swords in reverse, and I don't want you to shoot the messenger there. There may be something because it seems like you're holding back. They might be worried that you're not being honest with them about something. The page of wands can also be like 
you've you've moved off quickly in a different direction or maybe that's just their fear with the seven of wands in reverse this person might also be feeling like you've pushed them away they could be feeling that rejection here with the ace of wands in reverse this person has a lot of love for you this person's quite sentimental this person may be overly sensitive though like especially if they haven't if you haven't talked about things because the ace of wands and the ace of swords in reverse and I know your person feels like they're worried about rejection or that you you know I just feel like there's something here with trust but when we see the ace of cups coming out it feels like they do want a new beginning they've got a lot of love for you but there's something they're not trusting right now now obviously this could be your energy and you both might be mirroring each other. I get that sometimes from this card, the Queen of Cups, and we see these two dogs that are mirror images of one another. You two both could be kind of holding back. I feel like that's, it's really essential that you have a clear communication about what's going on, how this person is feeling. The Knight of Swords in the hidden position tells me that you are going to get clarity. This person wants to rush towards you. They want to know the truth. Eight of Cups, they're leaving something behind, and the Nine of Swords energy in reverse. But they need to get out of their own way. So Capricorn, I do feel like you have somebody here who's quite sentimental. Somebody who's also, who, who has a tendency to get stuck in their head or lives in their head. I do think that they want to rush towards you. And for some of you, they want to leave a situation to come towards you or they're waiting. You know, like if they had to take care of someone, a family member or something like that. You know, they're, they want to they wanna move away from that and come towards you or they're waiting for that. I'm almost hearing like, I can't wait to do that to come back or go towards my Capricorn. Hmm. There's definitely been some sort of upheaval here, but we get the Page of Wands energy in reverse. So someone's definitely got one foot in and one foot out. Or maybe you, I kind of feel like you two are mirroring each other. Like you both kind of feel that way. And we get the Magician in reverse. And the moon card. So there's something here about honesty. There's something here about, you know, the moon is about something hidden. Maybe there's been a miscommunication. I, I, I just keep getting that. I feel like communication is going to be so key to clearing this up, whatever it is. Just like a clear, concise communication about how you're feeling, what you two are, are, what you two want. Yeah, the connection is blocked, but I feel like there's distance here. Like I wonder if this person had to travel or they had to deal with something, some sort of third party interference. I don't necessarily feel like, you know, this person's got you in a third party situation. Although, I mean, it certainly could be the high priestess can sometimes be a secret relationship or like somebody on the side. But eh, I'm, this, this, this energy here, your outcome, your advice is like, look before you leap. Things aren't quite what they seem with the magician in reverse. And there's definitely some hidden, deeper feelings, but also something hidden that needs to come out into the open. So let's see. This connection is blocked right now. And I think your person knows that. Your person's worried about rejection. I also feel like your person's dealing with conflict outside of this connection, which you may or may not know about, all right? And I kind of feel like you're both holding back from each other. But I, I just get this, like, you need to talk. You need to talk. All right, let's see. What do we need to know about Capricorn's person? Okay, so they could be dealing with an addiction. Uh, I also feel, too, for me, like an addiction is anything somebody needs to get out from under. So it could be overthinking, um, you know, because I, I do feel you definitely have somebody who lives in their head. They get stuck there, too. They are loyal. They're addicted to social media. Okay. Uh, we get liar. So there's something they haven't been honest with you about, and they're physically active. And a caretaker. See, this person's dealing with something outside of the connection. But I almost feel like they haven't told you everything that's going on. Now, obviously, Liar is a pretty pretty scary card to, shop, uh, to pop up here in your reading. There's something they may have not told you or they weren't quite honest with you about. That's what Spirit's asking you to take a look at here. 
Ace of Swords energy in reverse, and they may be projecting that onto you. So just make sure, Capricorn, that you can trust this person. All right, let's see. I'm also seeing too, physically active, some of you, maybe this person themselves has gotten sick or injured or something like that, and they may not have wanted you to know about that for some reason. That's not gonna be for all of you. It's just a weird little side message I'm coming, I'm getting. Or they don't wanna tell you like how bad it is. Just be aware of that. They've gotten some shocking news. Maybe this is gonna be shocking news for you as well. What do they wanna tell you? I want you back. I remember every detail of that day. Again, this person's really in their head. They replay, replay things over and over. I want to start over, speaking of replaying things over and over again. I want one more. And your intellect arouses me. And we don't share the same values. But they're a little bit worried that you're going to reject them or that there's a compatibility issue. Mm. All right, let's see. Advice, please, for my Capricorns regarding this connection, please. Your person needs to walk away from something. They are going to reach out. I do think that they're going to get out of their head. They're going through something, something that feels a little bit nightmarish, a little bit, I don't know if it's like a little bit of depression, anxiety, or there's, you know, some sort of fears, like something that's been scary for them, a near-death experience, or someone close to them. There's conflict outside of this connection. It's going to be different for all of you. So Spirit's telling you to stay high vibrational. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And Spirit's saying extend your lighthearted energy to others. Hmm, interesting. So if this person is not making an effort, they're not reaching out, you know, they're not talking to you. And I'm not talking about like, oh, it's been a day or two, right? If it's been, you know, some time has passed by, like spirit saying, you know what? You're attractive. Stay high vibrational. Extend your lighthearted energy to others, especially if this person's not reaching out, taking action. You are calling in your soulmate. So what I'm getting here, Capricorn spirit saying, don't shut down your options or get emotionally invested until you have the truth about what's going on with this person. But also you staying in a very high vibrational energy, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations will help you bring, will bring you two together. And you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So I'm going to double down on the message that there's definitely some sort of timing issue here. Now, again, no good reader is going to recommend you go back to somebody who's lying or cheating on you. Um, but I do feel like they need to tell you the truth about something. And, you know, I, I feel like the main message here is communication is key. Um, all right. So I'm going to leave it here. You guys decide, make the best decisions for you and yours. And yeah, have an absolutely beautiful day. Um, if these messages do resonate, I'm going to ask that you hit that like button, share, subscribe, check out the description box for ways you can get a private reading or if you like the cards I'm using or if you want to follow me on TikTok and Instagram. Love and light. Take care.